Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy and we are discussing mathematical tool and this is the lecture number 6. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 5, you are watching this part 6. We have started in last lecture uh, before the break uh, about the vector and uh, let us discuss more about the vector. So we are discussing vector analysis and uh, let us discuss some types of vectors, some types of vectors types of vectors right so what are the types of vectors first one is unit vectors let us see first is position vector let us describe about the position vector position vector and what is that position vector position vector is the vectorial representation position vector of the point uh, of the point of the point in a plane or a space is the vectorial representation vectorial representation of point representation of point with respect to with respect to origin origin it is directed directed outward from origin origin right so this is the position here first of all uh, if uh, there is any point like uh, here it the point x axis y axis and uh, this is uh, say plane and uh, x axis y axis or even z axis also so let us discuss this x axis y axis and z axis so there is a point So this is x axis, y axis and z axis. Let us say uh, this is x axis, this one is y axis and this is called z axis. This is x dash, this one is y dash and this one is z dash. If P be any point here say then vectorial representation of this point with respect to origin is called uh, position vector. So position vector is this is this is the position vector. OP is called position vector of point P. So if O be any point, P be any point, then if P be any point point, then position vector of P position vector of P vector of P is OP directed from O to P. Now there is a some terms that is called unit vectors. So here let me discuss about this unit vectors. About unit vectors. So, unit vector. <coughs> a vector whose magnitude is unity. A vector whose magnitude is unity. Whose magnitude is unity called unit vector. Unity means one called unit vectors. Unit vector. Right? A vector which means two be unity called unit vector. If A be any vector, if A be any vector, then unit vector along A unit vector along A, along A means in direction of A, is given by, given by symbol is here A, A is the symbol and symbol is like this and that is magnitude of A upon magnitude of vector A, this is the called unit vector. So there are some other unit vectors 
along x axis, y axis, and z axis. So i, j, k, i, j, k are unit vectors, unit vectors along x axis, y axis, and z axis respectively. Z axis respectively. Right? So if I have a vector like this, there is a say this is x axis, y axis and z axis. So if I draw a line, there is a three axis. So this is y axis, and this one is x axis and this one is z axis. This z axis is perpendicular to x and y axis. This is called xy plane. xy plane, right now. And this one is called yz plane. Plane, and this one is called xz plane, right now. So this is called origin. O is origin. So if a vector along the direction of x axis with unit magnitude is called i. I is vector along this, J is vector along this direction, and K is vector along this direction. That is called I, J, K. So I, J, K are unit vectors along X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. If, uh, say, this point has coordinate 2, comma, 0, comma, 0, then the position vector of this point will be, if I am writing here, the point is like a uh, 2 comma 0 comma 0 a that is 2 comma 0 comma 0 on x axis y and z coordinates are 0 then oa is the position vector and oa vector is defined as 2i right now oa is 2 unit but oa vector is 2i vector right now like this similarly if some point is on j 3 unit on j then 3j and k so position vector again, if there is any point like uh, say P be any point in XY plane, then XY plane if point is there, then Z coordinate must be 0. Let P is a point whose coordinate is X comma Y, then Z coordinate is 0. And then OP is a position vector which can be written as OP is a position vector and that can be written as x i plus y j. So here again o p can be written as x i plus y j that is position vector of p. Similarly if there is a, any other point say q, q is here and it is lies in which coordinate? It lies in uh, y z plane. So obviously x coordinate will be 0. So in this x coordinate is 0 say 0 5 0 y z or 5 or 7 say this is the point so here oq can be written as 0 iota that is no need to write 5 j plus 7 k like this or 5 a plus 7 j so 5 j plus 7 k like that you can write 5 j plus 7 k but P is a point in a space, then it must have X coordinate, Y coordinate and Z coordinate all. In that case, position vector of P can be defined as, in that case, position vector of P can be defined as, what? This is the position vector. And position of vector of P is the vectorial representation of P with respect to origin. In that case, position, if P be any point, right? If P be any point, if B X Y Z be any point in any point in a space then position vector of P position vector of P is defined as defined as O P that is X I plus Y J plus Z K x i plus y j plus z k that is the position vector of p and the if you want to find out the magnitude of p then op is equal to 
magnitude of this is magnitude of e magnitude of that is called magnitude of op that is nothing else but length of p distance of length of op that is nothing else but distance of p from origin distance of point p from origin <coughs> from origin and this is given by under root of x square plus y square plus z square so remember if op is any vector where vector op is vector op is what xi plus yj plus zk you can calculate it like this <coughs> i hope you got it so therefore a three rectangular unit vector three rectangular unit vector unit vectors r i j and k they are rectangular vectors because angle between since they represent x axis y axis and z axis respectively so they are three rectangular unit vectors like that no? this is what this is x axis y axis and z axis so we can have three rectangular unit vectors like uh, x axis y axis and z axis this is x axis this one is y axis and this one is z axis this is origin and i is along this j is along this and k is along this so these are three rectangular unit vectors i j k along x axis y axis and z axis remember this this is respectively respectively right now so this is very important point you must keep in mind now uh, there are fixed vectors some other vectors are called fixed vectors so fixed vectors what is this fixed vectors are what right so fixed vectors the vectors whose tail or initial point is fixed is fixed called fixed vector fixed vector right fixed vectors these five are fixed are fixed called unit vectors right so their initial point are all fixed vectors so if there are fixed vector then the some other vectors are called free vectors right now opposite to that there are free vectors the vectors the vectors which tail or initial point initial point are not fixed are not fixed are not fixed right that is called free vectors for example vectors along a straight line along a straight line a straight line are free vectors their initial points are not fixed this is also called localized vector remember this this is also called localized vector localized vector okay this is also called localized vector so i hope you got it now there is a another point which uh, is to be discussed here that is called co terminal vector co initial vector co initial vector co initial vectors the vectors which has same initial point are called co initial vectors like colic you say usually those who are studying together they are said to be colics and they are similarly those who are working together they are also called to be colics so co is something which is togetherness and initial means those vectors which are same initial point so the vectors which has same initial point which has same initial point initial point are called 
അപ്പോൾ കോ ഇനിഷ്യൽ വെക്ടർസ് കോ ഇനിഷ്യൽ വെക്ടർസ് വെക്ടർസ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇഫ് ദർ ആർ ത്രീ വെക്ടർസ് ലൈക്ക് എ ബി സി സേ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ and uh, this one is b right and uh, say this one is c right now and this one is d so like this these are all have the same point all have same initial point so they are said to be what co initial vector. here all these vectors have the same initial point and therefore they are said to be co initial vectors i hope you got it so they are called co initial vectors because they have vector a this is vector a this is vector b this one is vector c and this one is vector d so here a b c d are starting from same point o are called co initial vectors co initial vector co initial vector right similarly there is another term that is called co terminal vectors co terminal vectors what is that co terminal vectors co terminal vectors so that will be co terminal vectors uh, the vectors which has same terminal point if the vectors has the vectors has same terminal point terminal points terminal points are called points are called co terminal vectors co terminal vectors terminal vectors right so these vectors are co terminal vectors like this is vector a say and uh, there is another vector that is vector b is like this so this is terminating towards the same point right so they are called co terminal vectors and now there is another vector say like this right so like this this one is said to be co terminal vectors if this is vector a this one is vector b and this one is vector c so here a b c are a b c are co terminus vector co terminal vectors this is called co terminal points this one is called co initial point this point is called co initial points point co initial point right only one point so co initial point and this one is called co terminal points this point is called co terminal points co terminal point right the co terminal point this point is called co terminal point got it co terminal point which point say o o is co terminal point here o is zero because in zero in the present vector so just write o is co initial point o is co initial point o is co initial point right and co terminal point i hope you got it then there is another vector called zero vector zero vector what is that a vector of zero magnitude zero magnitude magnitude and arbitrary direction arbitrary direction called zero vector. called zero vector called zero vector and it denoted is denoted by denoted by zero vector like this 
comes right so when it comes if two equal and opposite vectors a plus minus a is equal to what because it is the addition of two different vectors is zero vectors and a one is negative vectors although it has been discussed earlier but uh, let us write here negative vector a vector which has equal meaning equal magnitude equal magnitude of a given vector a given vector a but opposite direction given vector a but opposite direction opposite direction called negative vector direction called negative vector called a negative vector negative vector vector for example if i have a vector a if i have a vector a if i have a vector a uh, like this say and b is this is vector a and b is equal in opposite direction but this is minus of a. if this is a then this one is minus of a this one is minus of a these are negative vectors so you can memorize this then there is another type of vector called displacement vector displacement vector what is that a vector which gives the position of position of the point with reference to reference to any other point point other than origin other than origin is called displacement vector displacement vector for example if i have a position vector of a point say if i have a vector like this and uh, p be any point say here there is a point p and say p and q are x y z are the axis and p and q are two points and position vector of p is like this right now. position vector of p is like this position vector of q is like this right so let me write starting from let me draw this properly it is a uh, respect to origin and this one is also with respect to origin so these are the two positions now uh, this is an origin and if this point is from p to q if i draw a vector that will give a, the representation of that will give what a representation of P, right? That will give represent position of Q with respect to P. Then that is called um, displacement vector. Basically, this will give the displacement between P and Q, right? Now, so that is why this is called displacement vector. So this is PQ is called displacement vector. Here, PQ is called here PQ vector. Is called displacement vector. Displacement vector. Vector. PQ is called displacement vector because it since it represent it represent the position of Q. Position of Q with respect to P. It represent the position of position of Q with respect to 
with reference to P a reference of P point P reference of point P so by vector addition it is Hetel system we can say O P plus P Q is equal to Q by vector addition we can write O P plus P Q vector O P plus P Q is equal to O Q in Hetel system tail head this is head and tail of another one that is tail to tail and head, uh, head to head and tail to tail this is the journey so basically this one is called what this one is called um, vector addition this pq is what take this position vector is pq if i would like to write here pq therefore pq is vector pq is oq minus op Q minus OP. So basically, this is the difference of. So therefore, the displacement vector, displacement vector, is the difference of, difference of, position vectors of, position vectors of two vectors, of two vectors, right? This is what we can say, and it will be better. I think so. So here, uh, this is if R is if I can write here if uh, say if O P is R one vector, O Q is R two vector, then P Q is delta, R, and then P Q is what? That is difference between two position vector delta R and therefore delta R is equal to R2 minus R vector R2 minus vector R1. So that is what is displacement. So if uh, I have written here, I just it is missing. If P and Q are two points, then position vector of P and Q are given by R1 is equal to OP, say that is x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k, like this, isn't it? x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k and x2 is equal to r2 is equal to x2 i plus y2 j plus z2 k. Now pq is written as r2 minus r. So we can have like r2 is what? That is x2 i plus y2 j plus z2 k minus x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k. x2 minus i i these are the similar like terms so we can subtract them and this will come like x2 minus x1 into i y2 minus y1 into j and z2 minus z1 into k so modulus of similarly what we have learned that modulus of vector is under root coefficient of x square plus y square plus z square that is a coefficient of iota whole square plus coefficient of j whole square plus coefficient of k whole square that we have learned so what will happen here that is x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square and z2 minus z1 whole square. I hope you got it right now. So this is what will come right x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Okay. That will come like x2 minus x1 whole square under root and y2 minus y1 whole square. So the thing is, if P x1 y1 z1 and Q x2 y2 z2 be two points, then distance between them is given by under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. One more thing I would like to discuss that is called polygon rule. Polygon rule. So polygon rule. What is that? Polygon rule. Right now. Polygon rule. If uh, x1 x2 say x1 x2 x3 x3 up to xn I represent sides of polygons sides of polygons taken in order taken in order means either clockwise or anti-clockwise taken in order 
then x1 similar this is the extension of x1 plus x2 plus x3 vector all these vectors is equal to xn is equal to 0 this is what called polygon rule the polygon has many sides so this is called polygon rule if they are representing the sides of polygon then their sum is equal to 0 and one more thing that is called equal vectors equal vectors just definition everybody understood this two vectors are said to be equal vectors like this say two vectors are said to be equal vectors if they are of same magnitude two vectors a and b are said to be equal vectors equal vectors if their magnitude if their magnitude and directions both are equal if their magnitude and directions are equal as well as direction are equal, equal. so then only they are said to be equal vectors so this is all about in this lecture uh, we will have another class of this uh, vector as well and we will discuss uh, resolution of vectors and product of vectors in the next session. Until then, God bless you, take care of yours and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you, thank you very much.